Hey, Wilson. How come every time I'm in the kitchen, you in the kitchen? Ain't got time for that, man. Anyway, come on. Let's go, Raylan. There you go. So I wanted to show you some of the best accessories to get if you got a Galaxy Tab S9. This tablet is awesome, right? I've been loving mine as long as I've been using it, but there are some accessories that you might want to get. Let's let Raylan settle down here. Zeta. Zeta. Yeah, you stay there. All right. Now, the first one I've already showed you in another video, and that is this folio case right here, right? This is the smart folio case. All you got to do is slap it on there, right? You just slap it on the back just like that. You got your naked tab S9 right there. Then you just slap it on the back. And if you want, oh, let's just put it right there just like that. Come on now. Come on now. Don't make a fool out of me. If you want this to be open so you can have your pen, you can just pop that out if you want it, right? Let's just leave it out there. But the cool thing about this is it's a two part folio case. So you can have protection on the front and on the back if you wish. But when you're done having the protection and you need to use your tablet, you can just grab it, kind of hold it right here. And also you have this little tab that you can just flip down and then you got this little folding style origami kickstand that just holds it up in landscape. That way you can just do all your stuff as you need to. You can just touch and go. But if you want to uh, look at it in portrait, now you got it in portrait mode. Boom, just like that. But it is just a folio case. That front cover just pops on just like that and you got protection on the front and the back. It is awesome. Also, I know what you're thinking, man. I know what you're thinking. You're saying, what if I want to use my tablet in my lap? And that little one section of the folio, this little piece right here, what if that is on your lap? It's just not going to sit properly. Well, if you keep this cover on there, you just fold it back just like that. And now you got a full base to use your tablet on your lap or some unsturdy space. Now you got a whole base right there. But we're done with that one because now we need to talk about the keyboard cover. OK, so the keyboard cover comes in two parts as well. To be honest with you, the back of it is a lot like the uh, this origami folding case, except it doesn't have the origami on the back. It's just got a straight up like magnetized little flap that folds out. Let me just put this on just like this. Boom. And you even have that little cover that covers up your pen. Let me just open it up. There you go. You can pop this out if you want to. Boom. But the cool thing about this is that it just kind of unfolds just like that. And it's very rigid. So you can just put it in all different types of positions. And then you can use your tablet with just the tablet and no keyboard if you want to. And this will sit on your lap if you have enough lap to do it with. Right. I got it on my knees. So if I was on an airplane or something, I can just have my tablet just like this. Or if I was just sitting here in a chair, I can just have my tablet like this. But once it's time for some action, and you got to do some real work. You just slap that keyboard on there. Let me close it up for you first so you can see what it looks like. It's still nice and slim. This is not the slim cover. This is actually the standard keyboard case. They do have one that's slimmer and it is not a two part case. You cannot take it apart into two pieces. Uh, once you open this up and you pull this little kickstand out, you get your levels to where you need it to be. And then you can just type away to your heart's content. Now, me in particular, listen, look at me, man. Look at me. Me in particular, I really like like OEM parts, OK, OEM accessories, simply because, yeah, they're a lot more expensive. This is a two hundred dollar keyboard cover, and I'm pretty sure that folio case costs about eighty dollars. And I didn't mind spending it because um, it fits well. It works as intended. Every time I tried to look for a case that was like an, uh, an aftermarket case, it came with a little strap, a little book strap or something like that. Or it was just like extra thick or something like that. And they're nice, but they're not. They're never as nice as the OEM equipment. Come on back in here, man. I got some more stuff to show you. Now, you remember how I flipped this thing around on the backside to use with the folio case? Well, you could do that with this keyboard cover as well. But remember, if you need to use your actual keyboard, that ain't going to happen. So right now I'm tapping on the keyboard and the keyboard that's attached to it is actually telling it that you don't need your on screen keyboard. So maybe you could go into settings and disable that. But right now I can't use the on screen keyboard because this one is still attached. So if you want to use it in that mode, you're not going to be able to. But one thing that does frustrate me about this is that you can't have it all, man. You got these two two things, right? Well, I couldn't see. I like I really, really like it this folio back, right? And they attach the same way. Why couldn't Samsung sell us? And it probably would cost a premium. Why couldn't they sell us a keyboard cover with this folio just like that? 
So in essence, if you want both, you got to spend like 300 bucks to get both. <laughs> you got to have, that way you can have the keyboard and the little origami stand on the back. But let's get to the next accessory that I really like. Let's keep this attached right here, right? So we got that attached. If you come around here, Wilson, you can see what I got from Anchor. These are my buddies, man. I love Anchor products, okay? This is just a, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is it six? It's like a six and one, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. You got a 3.5 millimeter input there. You got a, a SD, a mini SD or micro SD. Then you got your standard SD card slot. Then you got a USB-A, USB-C for power. And then you got an HDMI. And then it's got an, uh, a USB-C connection because all you gotta do is slide it into your port right there and boom, you got a solid connection. Now, your Galaxy Tab S9 has a headphone jack, it has an HDMI port, you got USB-C, you got USB-A, you got all kinds of stuff, man. This is a super handy tool to have right here. But now we gotta get into the last accessory. Let me, let me show you what the last accessory and the most important accessory is to the Galaxy Tab lineup, period. This right here. This actually came with the tablet. The tablet is priced right because it does a lot. It's a premium tablet and I love it. But it also comes with this S Pen. It actually came with it. So I'm really, I'm really kind of like, you know, driving it home because I want you Apple people to understand you like Wilson, you, you use an iPad, right? Don't you feel like terrible that you had to pay extra for your pen and I didn't have to pay extra for mine because it actually came with my tablet? Suck it, Wilson, you and Apple. Anyways, this actually comes with the tablet and it does amazing things, man. You can truly unlock the power of your tablet with this S Pen. And when you're done with it, you just slide it on the back right there. And if you actually want that protection on there, you can just put this cover back on and then slide it in there. Raylan, be quiet, man. I'm trying to shoot videos. I got, I got enough troubles trying to keep Wilson on task and you messing with me too. Boom, and your S Pen is protected. That way you won't lose it. Hey guys, I am no expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is Wilson has chosen the wrong tablet. He should have rolled with a Galaxy Tab S9. <laughs> he fooled around with that iPad. <laughs> now y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.